What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and I just finished up watching Jamel Herring versus Carl Frampton, which is a 12-rounder for the WBO Super Featherweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, April 3rd, from the Caesars Palace, Dubai, in Dubai. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, Jamel Herring dominated, dropped, and stopped Carl Frampton to retain his WBO Super Featherweight World title in the biggest fight of his career. I initially predicted that this fight would go the distance 100% and that it would either be a points win for Jamal Herring or a points win for Frampton, but I decided to pick Frampton by majority decision. I thought it was going to be a very, very close and competitive fight that was going to go the distance and that could have went either way. But what ended up happening was a one-sided beatdown for Jamal Herring as he gets his 23rd victory and 11th by knockout. No one thought Jamal Al Herring had a chance to knock Carl Frampton out as he only had 10 knockouts and was coming off a lackluster performance against uh, Jonathan Okendo, which ended in a DQ. Well, uh, Jamel Herring did get cut in this fight, similar to the Jonathan Okendo fight, but uh, the first four rounds, let's just say this, were very, very competitive. The first three I gave to Jamel Herring, the fourth I gave to Carl Frampton, very close round. But the fifth round, Jamel Herring landed a beautiful left hand that dropped Carl Frampton, sent him down. It looked like a flash knockdown. Carl Frampton got back up, and the round was a very, very competitive round up until that knockdown, obviously. But then in the sixth round, Jamel Herring, similar to dropping Jonathan Okendo, landed a beautiful left uppercut that sent Carl Frampton down. Carl Frampton got back up and was brutally beaten into the ropes, and then ultimately the corner threw in the towel, and the referee had to stop the fight. What a win this is for Jamel Herring, recording his 23rd victory, 11th by knockout, as I said before. And what's next for him? I want to see the winner of this fight, and it is Jamel Herring fight Jojo Diaz. Fight someone in that division that's the top. Or even uh, Shakur Stevenson, I want to see them fight. And Shakur Stevenson is likely the next opponent if he gets past uh, his in June. Um, yeah, I want to see them fight either uh, Shakur Stevenson, uh, even uh, Jojo Diaz, as I said before, and even some other champions of the division. I would even want to see him against Javante Davis, who holds the WBA belt of that division. Uh, I mean, this division is just stacked with talented fighters, and there's just so many fights that could happen right now, and it's just mind-boggling how Jamal Heron was able to stop Carl Frampton like this. And um, another arg arguably next opponent for Jamal Heron could be Oscar Valdez, because they are both in top rank, but I really don't see them doing that fight, because I think Valdez will still beat Jamal Heron, even though he's coming off this tremendous victory. But, um... Yeah, I would want to see Jamel Herring against uh, one of the main world champions, like as I said before, um, Oscar Valdez, Javante Davis, or Jojo Diaz, or I would want to see him against um, uh, Shakur Stevenson, and those would be tremendous fights. I mean, uh, Jamel Herring here, he boxed, but he didn't really box as planned. I thought that he would just box on the outside and just jab, jab, jab. And I thought that Carl Fan would get on the inside. But what ended up happening was Jamel Herring was, would just jab, jab, land a left hand, and he'd come forward. He wasn't the one being backed up. He was the one coming forward and backing up Carl Frampton. And I loved seeing that because Carl Frampton, most people thought that it would be the opposite and that Jamel Herring would just land his shots. But it was the opposite where just Jamel Herring was coming forward, landing his shots, not letting Carl Frampton get on the inside, and just purely destroying Carl Frampton. But what's next for Carl Frampton as he tried here to make history and become the first Irishman uh, to be a three-division world champion? Um, I think he should retire, as he did say that if he loses this fight, he will retire. And I believe this is his first knockout loss ever, and um, it was a brutal one for sure. So overall, Jamel Herring dominates, drops, and stops Carl Frampton to retain his WBO Super Featherweight World title to get his 23rd victory, 11th by knockout in the fight for a possible title unification bout in the near future. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.